Hello bookish friends, uh, welcome to the uh, fifth uh, Sunday of the month and since it is a extra day uh, aside from uh, my uh, video series uh, that I do on Sundays uh, I've decided to do a uh, tag that I was very currently tagged in which is the reader profile tag uh, This tag uh, was originally uh, created by a quite new booktuber, uh, BookBustle I discovered her uh, when I uh, was tagged by uh, Lori at uh, Books Ink and Paper, uh, one of my uh, dear friends, uh, for this tag. And uh, I will link uh, both of their videos down below. I think this tag is great for booktubers uh, who want to uh, introduce uh, themselves uh, to the community, as well as uh, to new subscribers in older channels like mine. And the first question is, uh, what for you makes a good book? For me, there are many things uh, to consider uh, when I'm uh, rating or uh, evaluating books and, uh, and I have a, a quite exclusive <laughs> explanation about uh, this uh, in a tag that I did. I think it was called uh, Ratings and Reviewed Tag, uh, but I will link it uh, down below to be sure. Uh, but uh, my top three uh, criteria for a good book are, uh, first of all, an engaging plot. Uh, I really do not like books where uh, nothing uh, seems to be happening. Not all of the characters have to be three-dimensional, but the key characters uh, should have a touch of grey uh, in them to make me feel relatable uh, to them or uh, believable uh, if they are the antagonistic characters. And the third criteria for me is uh, that uh, it needs to have an effective, which means that I can visualize what is happening, uh, but uh, certainly not flowery writing. Uh, I really do struggle with flower, flowery writing uh, with uh, too many uh, pretty words. I think it takes me out of the story. The second question is, uh, what are you currently reading? Uh, I'm currently reading two books. Uh, the first one is a thriller, uh, The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Uh, I'm very uh, close to finishing uh, the book and uh, most probably I will finish it uh, tomorrow because uh, today uh, I plan to finish uh, my library book. Uh, Palamut Zamanı Aşk uh, by Fikret Yıldırıcı. Uh, this is uh, a romance book written by a uh, male author. Uh, it's not a traditional romance, but I quite liked it. Question three. Uh, what's the last book you didn't finish and why? Uh, it was uh, Stumble Train uh, Orient Express by Graham Greene. Uh, the plot was uh, not engaging uh, for a mystery book. And uh, to be honest, uh, the narrative was uh, quite anti-Semitic, which really annoyed me. Question 4. What obscure book do you wish other people would read? Obscure books are actually not my style of books. I prefer to have some sort of reasoning, even in fantasy books. Uh, however, uh, I quite liked uh, Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. I think it's a, a very interesting book and uh, it is actually uh, quite engaging. Question 6. <laughs> Uh, this question is actually my favorite question. Uh, if you could have a dinner party with five fictional characters, who would they be? Uh, I would invite Hercule Poirot for eccentricity. He's such a character uh, that he would be an absolute diva uh, in the uh, dinner party. I would invite Minerva McGonagall from Harry Potter series for wisdom. Uh, I always picture her as Maggie Smith. I can hear her voice uh, telling me advice about life. Robert Langdon uh, from uh, Robert Langdon series by uh, Dan Brown. Uh, I think uh, I have uh, the same interests uh, as him. Uh, I really do like art history and uh, of course architecture since I'm an architect. And uh, I would like to hear his views about uh, the places he visited and uh, about uh, their significance uh, in art and architecture history. But of course, I would need a best friend and uh, I would invite Fleda Bright from Fleda Bright series by Colin Cambridge. Uh, she is the maid of Agatha Christie. Uh, she is unmarried like myself, although she has a crush on the chauffeur. What would make her my best friend is uh, her uh, love for mysteries and uh, solving mysteries and theorizing about uh, what really happened in the grand scale of uh, events. Uh, last but of course not least, uh, I would invite uh, Captain Wentworth. Uh, for those of you who follow me, uh, are not surprised at all. 
I would uh, like him uh, to uh, talk about uh, his uh, love uh, for uh, an Elliot. Uh, maybe read uh, his uh, incredibly uh, romantic letters uh, from uh, his own voice. Question seven. Five books you'd want if stranded on a desert island. Uh, I've tried to choose uh, books from different genres uh, for different reasons. I would choose Jane Eyre uh, because everyone needs a bit of uh, Jane in their lives. Uh, when they are in a trying situation, her bravery and uh, her capacity to overcome the difficulties is the thing that makes uh, the book very, very special for me. I would bring uh, Inja Mehmet, Mehmet Mayhok, because of the incredibly good writing uh, of the book. Uh, I would read passages and uh, be in awe all the time. <laughs> uh, I would, uh, of course, bring a book by Agatha Christie, uh, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. I think uh, this book uh, is the best for reread because every time I reread the book, I discovered uh, something new uh, and uh, how brilliant Agatha Christie is. Uh, while constructing mysteries. I would bring a tom, uh, which uh, would be The Pillars of the Earth by Cam Follett. This is one of my favorite historical fiction books and I love and uh, simultaneously hate uh, so many of the characters. Uh, it, I think it, it would be good for my emotional satisfaction. Of course, Persuasion by Jane Austen. I mean, I would reread the, the letter, if not the book, all the time. Question 8. Uh, one book you could not put down. Uh, I will talk about the latest one, uh, which was uh, Verity by Colin Hoover. Uh, it was uh, so dark, uh, yet I could not not continue reading it. and I thought it was a uh, expertly constructed thriller. Question 9. Five books or authors you will never read. Uh, although I would like to say never is a strong word, uh, but I chose uh, five authors. I will most probably will not read uh, ever again. Uh, the first one is Nora Roberts. Uh, there is something about Nora Roberts' writing style uh, that really bothers me. I'm not really sure what it is, <laughs> uh, but uh, I have really liked uh, the adaptations based on her books. Uh, so it's certainly the writing style. The second one is Douglas Adams. Uh, I DNF'd uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy uh, two times <laughs> and uh, I really cannot understand uh, both the humor and the events uh, about his writing. It is it is very, very confusing to me. Uh, speaking of confusion, Le Lewis Carroll, uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, I could hardly finish it, uh, although I have to admit uh, I could not grasp uh, some of the scenes. Uh, so. Clearly, he's not an author for me. Janet Winterson is a very skilled author for sure, uh, but her dose of magical realism uh, in the books that I've tried by her uh, was too much for me. So I will uh, stay in my lane of uh, books with uh, just a hint of magical realism in them. Lastly, Ian Fleming. I read the first uh, James Bond book, Casino Royale. And uh, it was such a such a big disappointment for me. Uh, the uh, character of James Bond uh, was two-dimensional, and uh, to be honest, it was just all action and no emotional uh, scenes at all. So, although I like engaging plots like I did before, there really needs to be a balance between emotional scenes and uh, action scenes. Question ten: uh, If you were to write a book, what would it be about? Unlike many of the uh, booktubers and uh, voracious readers, uh, I've never thought of writing a book. But for the purpose of answering the questions, I thought a bit about it and uh, decided that uh, I would be uh, comfortable in a historical fiction with a touch of mystery. And uh, it would uh, most probably take place in uh, 1980s or 1990s uh, and it would most probably involve uh, some kind of family relationships and uh, who will I tag? Uh, I've decided to tag six booktubers Alice at Alice and the Giant Bookshelf, Emily at Noel Novels, uh, Marilyn Maya Mendoza, uh, Jan at Jan's Reading Life, Lee at Dark Roots Creation and uh, Leandra, uh, the TBR0. Try to choose booktubers 
who have somewhat uh, different tastes so that uh, there would be a variety of answers. And those were my answers for the reader profile tag. Like I said, my favorite uh, question was a fictional characters uh, you would invite in a dinner party. Uh, so please comment down below. Who would you invite? You don't have to invite five. Uh, you can list as many or as few as uh, you like. If you're a new viewer, first of all, welcome. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye. As for Turkish word of the day, I'm going to choose dinner. Dinner means akşam yemeği in Turkish and akşam yemeği are our Turkish words of the day. Have a good day.